I'm Cindy Kuiper, and I own Chickpea Photography Studio. I photograph pets and children. Pets and kids are just fun, fun to play with. And I want to capture that relationship between them and people. Well, I've had pets my whole life. Currently, I have two dogs and one cat, and a cat that's probably going to be here forever. To many of us, pets are family. And we take pictures of our families, our children, graduations, important events in their lives. In fact, if you ask an adult, name um, your first pet, you, they will spin you a tale about that first cat or rabbit, even turtle in my case, I had a turtle. Your child as an adult will look back on those photographs of them and that relationship with their dog or cat as being very important to them and a pivotal, a pivotal being in their life. As we grow up, we stop playing. Being able to spend time with animals brings that out in you. You know, I'll come home from a shoot with mud or my knees will be soaking wet and I get to throw the ball and I get to interact and I get to make silly noises and, and it's just a blast. I have a, I have a lot of fun with it and I'm a big kid. I will get the owner involved in, in, during the session. I have them work too, but it's fun work. So I get them involved in the process and, and, and engage in the animal. People tend to think that having photographs taken of their pets is a luxury item. I try to help help people not see it as a luxury item, but as a as, as important as taking a picture of any other family member or any other occasion in their life that they want to remember years from now. Clients often come to me when they uh, find out that their pet is sick and is about to pass. If you have uh, an ill, uh, terminally ill pet, I will mo modify my schedule to make time to photograph them as soon as possible. I've gone to a lot of shelters to help them photograph their pets, and they're afraid of the camera uh, quite regularly. I've learned over time how to make those animals comfortable so that I can get a good portrait of them. I've, I've heard a lot of good stories that you know the animals I've taken pictures of have gotten adopted. That makes me feel, feel really good that they found a home because frequently when I go to the shelters, I want to take them all home. <laughs> I'm located in the El Cerrito Richmond area, but I travel all over the Bay Area. We're so fortunate to be living in the Bay Area because there is a plethora of wonderful places to take photographs. Jack London Square, a piece of graffiti on a wall in San Francisco, to the beach, to the Presidio, to the hills in Oakland. Everything is about change. Our time with the, those that we adore, the people that are important to us, the pets that we grow up with, it's never going to be long enough. Even if they live forever, it's never going to be long enough. But our pets don't come with us. I want to be able to give you those cherished memories in a photographic form that are also going to be works of art that you will feel privileged and proud to display in your home. I try to freeze moments. You know that moment where your cat is so happy to be petted on your lap that you can not only hear the purring, but you can see it. Or the joy and the abandon of your dog rolling around, scratching their backs in the grass. That's what I'm looking for when I'm looking with